In October of 2013, the Association of School Transportation Services of British Columbia, ASTSBC, determined it would be beneficial to its members to host a mock mass casualty training incident during its summer conference involving a school bus accident with numerous injuries sustained by the driver and students on board the bus. The objectives would be to help ensure school districts in British Columbia would be prepared in case of such an event occurring in one of the school districts in our province, understand how emergency responders respond to such an event and what they need from us in the process to build relationships and open dialogue with emergency responders and to ultimately prepare a best practices recommendation for school transportation departments in BC. In November of 2013, Crisis Reality Training located in Gig Harbor, Washington State in the United States, was contracted to help prepare and orchestrate the ASTSBC MCI. To host such an event, we would need the assistance of many emergency responder agencies, and the list of participating agencies was very impressive. This list included the City of Richmond, the Richmond School District, BC Ambulance and ECOM Dispatchers, Richmond Fire Rescue, the RCMP, Vancouver School Emergency Management, and Health Emergency Management, BC. In the months prior to the training exercises, ASTSBC, along with Crisis Reality Training, hosted many planning meetings with emergency responders and navigated many obstacles to put together an informative exercise for its members. The journey working towards organizing this event took eight months with the numerous agencies that were participating in the event. A site in Richmond, BC was located. At the planning meetings, we learned that the expectations we may have as managers of transportation did not line up with the process used by the emergency responders. We learned how to best support their number one objective of saving lives and to help fulfill district objectives with being informed of what hospital systems our students may be transported to, as well as expedite reunification of students with parents. With a site finally confirmed, the day started with the Crisis Reality Training Team, volunteers and the City of Richmond helping to set up the ice rink parking lot to prepare for and facilitate the day's events. Students, acting as role players, began arriving two hours prior to the start of the exercise, so their special effects makeup displaying their injuries from the simulated bus crash could be arranged. Professional movie makeup artists were contracted to create this special effect on the student, volunteers, and a bus driver. They did not disappoint. From students showing minor bruising to compound fractures, all of the makeup injuries provided to them and the bus driver appeared very real, adding to the realism of this event. Conference delegates soon began arriving to register and check in for the event with all delegates receiving a bag with water, snacks and even suntan lotion to prepare for the beautiful warm weather that was scheduled for the day. BC Ambulance arrived with three ambulance crews to demonstrate how the injured students and driver would be triaged and treated at the scene prior to being transported to a hospital. Richmond Fire Rescue then arrived with an engine, ladder truck, and an incident commander's vehicle, which assisted in providing the demonstration of their extraction procedures for the victims on the bus, as well as how they worked together with BC Ambulance to provide life-saving treatment. Security on scene was provided by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Detachment out of the City of Richmond area, and all emergency responders spoke to the conference delegates to explain their roles if such an event were to occur. All emergency responders also allowed the conference delegates to examine the equipment they would be using if this type of event occurred, and numerous questions were asked and answered as the event unfolded and progressed. By the end of the day, over 150 delegates, emergency responders, city employees, school district personnel, vendors and volunteers have participated in making this enormous event such a success. The outcome of the exercise proved that preparation, training, communication, and relationship building with local emergency responders would be a key to meeting our objective in the unfortunate case of such an emergency. The process of planning this event proved to be very informative and key in creating best practices and training programs to recommend to districts throughout the province and will increase the ability of transportation departments to be prepared and most effectively function 
if such an event takes place in their jurisdiction. It is the ongoing goal of the ASTSBC to provide its districts, drivers, students, and parents the most up-to-date and best practices in transportation to ensure our commitment that your child's safety is our business. We believe that this exercise has brought us another step closer to that promise.